In this video I'm going to be showing you how to FaceTime over 3G. That means you do not have to be connected to a Wi-Fi network. So if you have somebody uh, that has an iPhone 4 you want to FaceTime them, you can FaceTime them on the go. You don't have to be uh, connected to a wireless network. So basically what you're going to need to do, uh, first off, you're going to need to be jailbroken. If you're not already jailbroken, check the links in the description. I'll probably have two links, a uh, link to a Mac guide and a Windows guide on how to do that. Uh, to go ahead and get your iPhone 4 jailbroken. It's a pretty simple guide, go ahead and follow it. I want your jailbroken, come back to the video. So now that you're jailbroken, or if you're already jailbroken, you're going to go into the Manage tab and we're going to hit Sources, Edit, Add, Sorry, I kind of did that fast, but you're going to add a source. Uh, so basically, what you're going to do is you're going to add the sinful iPhone repo source. Um, I'll have it in the link or in the description below. So hit edit, add, and then type that in. Uh, let it update, and then you're going to come back to Cydia. Uh, go back to the manage tab. Go to sources. Scroll down until you see sinful iPhone repo. You should see that. If you didn't, you didn't type it in right. So go ahead and hit on sinful iPhone repo. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And you're going to install an app called 3G Unrestrictor Cracked. Uh, this is actually a free version of the app. I think you can get this app paid in the app or not in the app store, but in Cydia. Uh, but I want to give you guys a free way to do this. Uh, so let's go ahead and install that. Uh, you're just going to tap up in the right hand corner. Mine's already installed. Uh, you're going to hit install. Uh, once you got it installed, you can go ahead and close Cydia. And you're going to find 3G Unrestrictor on your device. So I've got mine right here. That's what the icon looks like. I uh, go ahead and open it up. And uh, you're going to need to add the FaceTime app to the 3G Unrestrictor. Now what this app lets you do basically is let uh, applications that you can't use on 3G on 3G. So like where normally where you have to be connected to a Wi-Fi network, you can enable it to uh, let you use it over 3G, such as iTunes where, or App Store where you can only download a 10 megabyte app. Or uh, if it's over 10 megabytes, you can't download it. This will let you do that. So basically what we're going to do is hit Edit, Add, and you're going to search for FaceTime. So just type in F-A-C-E, and then there you go. You should see it. It's called Phone, and then in parentheses, FaceTime. So let's go ahead and hit that, and hit Done. I'll go ahead and close that up. And now basically we're ready to FaceTime. I'm going to open up the phone app, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the FaceTime call. So there we go. It is calling right now. You see I am on the 3G network. Let's zoom in here just a little bit. Just to prove to you that I am on 3G. This isn't tricks or anything. And there you go. Tom also like to FaceTime. I hit accept. Okay. And it's connecting. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Let me mute these. And uh, I'm going to basically just take it around my room, show you that it does work. And it's actually really fast. I don't know if you can see me good. Oh, and look at this. Check this out. I am broke out in poison ivy. I don't know if you can tell. But it's horrible, trust me. I just want to show you guys that it does work. It's actually really fast uh, depending on your 3G connection. Uh, so it does work really well. I'm going to go ahead and hit end on these. So there you go. There is a guide on how to FaceTime on the iPhone 4. Uh, this is free. Hopefully it works for you. If it doesn't, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out. Uh, it's pretty simple as long as you follow the directions. So make sure you check out all the links in the description. Uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more videos on the iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and uh, soon the Apple TV second generation. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. If I don't have poison ivy really bad all over my body and it goes away. Peace. In case you missed my two latest videos, you can go ahead and click the iPhone on the right, and it will link you to my video on Apple's Back to the Mac event, give you all my coverage and everything that was announced at the event. Or if you'd like to check out my video on FaceTime for Mac, that also was announced at the Apple event the other day, you can go ahead and click the left iPhone for that, and it'll link you to that. Yep.